So I was mentioning how TA was useful even outside the markets here. It's hard to see and I can't zoom in easily, but this is the inverse head and shoulders pattern here. It met the target, it consolidated for a while, and then it went up to prior resistance. And this is my YouTube analytics, just the number of views I've had over the last year. All right, so now I'm going to try to, if you haven't been here before, I'm going to try to explain why you might want to subscribe to me. Well, first of all, markets. If you haven't been in the stock market or crypto, you don't know, all you do is buy low, sell high, you can make a lot of money. But you got to, it's very risky. A lot of people will consider it a complete crapshoot, gambling only, but with the proper technical analysis, that is not the case whatsoever. And... You know, I've been on a mission for the last year or so to prove that's the case. The technical analysis is not bullshit. I have a short series that I didn't continue because my Twitter shadow ban, you know, stifled me. And even without that, you know, I wasn't getting the engagement I was hoping for. I didn't do anything wrong to get the shadow ban. I was just using my right to free speech, giving Trump some shit, singing him a little song about him being a traitor. Big deal. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have a previous video, Technical Analysis is Not Bullshit. It's kind of long, it just shows some charts playing out, you know, in the short term, zooms in on them and shows shit playing out after I posted them. You can check that out if you're really interested. Uh, aside from that, you know, I'll just say that I've been bullish on Bitcoin since the bottom. I've been bearish on Bitcoin uh, since about May 15th. And that was based on my Bitcoin versus gold chart for the most part. I'll get into that in a second. Well, here it is right here, actually. Uh, whatever this is, it's not necessarily exaggerated bullish di or bearish divergence because at least as far as I see from this one site, it's the price that has to d uh, be straight, be a straight line rather than the indicator. Regardless, I still consider this a bearish sign and it still is playing out. And it played out literally almost immediately. Uh, it came down and it hit this line. I'll show you that in a second. I'll actually bring that up. There's a couple charts that played out. Personalized Bitcoin index. I mentioned it in a previous video. I'll have a card for that. You can click above eventually anyway. It had a huge spike in 2017 up to a million dollars or so. Uh, because, anyway, it doesn't matter why, it happened, later on, I was bullish on it, and this price, this chart, by the way, takes into account the value of US dollar tether where applicable, which is why this next huge spike happened, it went higher than the previous one. Uh, and you can see it reacting to the other analysis. You know, you can see it reacting to analysis in the meantime, well after the fact. TA is not bullshit. After it broke out of there, look what it did. Like, it was almost instantly that spike happened. That was a spike of US dollar tether 90,000% to $900. The S&P, I mean, this kind of speaks for itself. I posted this last year. But down to my green zone bounce, but I have another green zone down here. I'm still expecting lower <laughs> and a double top precisely at the price reversal zones of the bearish harmonic patterns I was pointing out back then. So if you decide to get in the stock market or if you're already in it, this is how I can be useful to you over the medium term. I'm more of a medium term swing trader, I guess. Or that's what my, you know, I would be if I could be. For now, I'm just a hodler. It's potentially a bullish harmonic pattern over the very long term. You know, some Fibonacci support, very long term Fibonacci support I was pointing out back in September of 2018. And you can see what's happened now. And you can see how it's reacted to my technical analysis in the meantime. And of course, I had some shorter term analysis that I was pointing out on Twitter and whatnot. So if you want the real-time updates, follow me there. Uh, for example, the other day, 
when uh, when gold was twelve eighty one or tw or twelve eighty two, I said it's not very often that gold looks this good on the one minute chart, <laughs> and it was actually still below this line at that point. Since then, it's pumped up four and a half percent. All right. So, like I said, please just do whatever you can to engage. Whether it's a simple like, you know, I'm not going to beg for comments, but if you have a question, please leave it or a comment about something I've done wrong. Please let me know because I'd like to know. Uh, if you think I suck, feel free. I love to hear it. <laughs> all right. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Trade safe. All that shit.